Today, we shall continue with our episode on statistics for beginners. In our last video, we were able to talk about the mean, and I was able to give you some examples on how to calculate the mean. If you check the description below, you are going to see the link on how to watch the video on the mean. Yeah, if this is your first time of watching my video, please do subscribe so that you can get information on my episodes. Now, today we are going to talk about how to calculate the median of ungrouped data, the median of the ungrouped data. First thing I would like to talk about is that don't forget that median is the same thing. When we talk about the word median, is the same thing as middle value. There is another name for median, which is also known as what? The middle value. So whenever you're asked to calculate median, what will come straight to your mind is that we want to calculate the middle value. And there's a technique that you really need to know, okay? And the technique is that if you have to calculate median of any number, there's a need to rearrange the data set given, okay? Rearranging the data set given. So the rearranging of the data set can be in two ways. It can either be in ascending order or it can be in what? Descending order. What do we mean by the word ascending order? When we talk about the word ascending order, this is arranging numbers from the smallest to the biggest value, okay? From the smallest to the biggest value. And in descending, it's just the other way around. This is from the biggest value to the what? To the smallest value. So I'm going to give you an example to illustrate this. Now let's consider our example one. In our example one, we are giving the following data set and um, we are expected to find what the median. Don't forget, another name for median is the middle value. So here we have our data to be two, three, nine, one, eight, six, seven. So the first thing we are going to do, if you are to solve this, is to find them is to rearrange, okay? Let's decide to rearrange in ascending order here. That means we are picking from the smallest value to the biggest value. And from here, the smallest value we have here is one, right? So we are writing one, followed by two. Then we have three. We have, there's no four. Then we move to six. We move to seven. We move to eight. Then lastly, we have nine. So, for us to determine the middle value here, there's a technique we are going to adopt, and this is the technique. So you are cancelling from both sides. Now let me cancel the first value at the left-hand side. I'm cancelling the um, value from the right-hand side too, so that is gone. Then we move to the next one, cancel it out. We move to the next one, cancel it out, and we are left with a value at the middle. So the middle value is our median. So that's what we're interested in. So from this, we know that our median is going to be six. So this is the value for our median. Yeah, one thing we observe here is that if you look at the number of um, observations or data that we have, you will observe that it is odd number. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But in the case that we are having even numbers, this is quite different. This is quite different. So in the case of even number, here we are making use of um, average of the two middle values. So I'm going to give you an example to show that. So let's call that example two. So in our example two, Let's have different data set entirely. So we have two, eight, six, um, three, one, nine, zero, and five. Let's count the number of digits we have. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. That's even number. So now we are to calculate the median of this number. We are to calculate the median of this number. So the first thing to do, as usual, is to rearrange. We can decide to arrange in ascending order or descending. But in this question, we should use descending order. So let's go to, uh, sorry, in this example one, we've used ascending order. So for the example two, let's decide to use the descending order. So using the descending order, that means from the highest to the lowest. And here, the highest is nine. So we are having nine, then followed by eight, okay, followed by six, followed by five, then three, then two, then one, and zero. Let's count to be sure that we have the same digit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. If you use ascending order, you are still going to get the same answer. Just to show that, okay, either way, you are still going to get the same answer. Now, let's cancel out as usual. We are canceling this first here. We cancel out the first here. Then we cancel out the second. We cancel out this. Then we cancel out the third. We cancel out this. And look at it. We are having two digits, okay? Two values at the middle. So it's quite different from you having a single value here, which is six. But here we are having five and three. Like what I told you earlier on, we are calculating the average, okay? And um, don't forget, in our last video, we've talked about how to calculate the average. That means addition of these two, okay, over two. So the average is addition of this over two. And five plus three is going to give us what? Eight over two which is equals to what? 4. So this is our middle value. So this is our median. So we are going to stop here. And in our next video, we are going to look at how to calculate the median of ungrouped data. Okay? This is when you have frequencies and it involves formula. You can see that statistics is very interesting. There's nothing difficult in it. In order for you to follow, to have to gain notification for our next video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share this video your comments will be appreciated as well if you have something for us maybe a recommendation or what you want us to develop on we are going to appreciate you thank you very much see you next video